All right, the last concept in this section is the idea of differentials, which play a big role moving forward in calculus. We'll start with this statement right here. And again, we know this statement. This is just the, really the, the relationship between Leibniz and Newton notation. The rate of change of a function is determined to be the change in y over the change in x. Now, a really important move here is that we want to look at this in a little bit different way. We're actually going to separate this fractional expression of dy dx. Really importantly, dy dx is a fractional expression and we can deal with it in any way like we do with fractional expressions. If I multiply both sides of this equation together, I will get the differential relationship that dy equals f prime of x times dx. When we write it in this notation of dy over dx, we think of this as the derivative or the instantaneous rate of change. When we split them here, we call them differentials. This differential dy right here is talking about an infinitesimally small change in y. And dx here is talking about an infinitesimally small change in x. Again, in this form, this is a rate because we're dividing these changes by from each other. Over here, it's not a rate. We're saying we can find the change in y if we multiply the derivative of the function times the small change in x. All right, so we have a really cool application of differentials here. We're being asked to estimate the amount of paint needed to apply a 500th of a centimeter thick coat of paint to a hemisphere dome which has a diameter of 50 meters. So the context here is we have this dome of sorts that we're trying to paint. It's a hemisphere, which means it's half a sphere. We're being told that it has a diameter here of 50 meters. If we paint all the way around this 500th of a centimeter thick, the question is how much of the paint are we gonna need? To attack this, what we're going to think of is if we think of the volume of this hemisphere, we're gonna be thinking of applying this paint on the outside somehow increases the volume just a little bit. It makes it a little bit bigger. It makes it a little bit bigger by five hundredths of a centimeter. So first of all, we're gonna first need the volume of this hemisphere. The volume of a hemisphere is half the volume of sphere. So the volume of this thing would be two thirds pi r cubed, right? That the, the volume of a sphere would be four thirds pi r cubed. Then what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this respect to the radius. What we get in this case is dv dr equals, using the power rule here, bring the 3 down to get 2 pi r squared. At this point, you might be thinking, hey, aren't we going to use some kind of chain rule or some implicit differentiation here? Then that's not the case because we are differentiating this with respect to this variable r. We want dr here, not dt or some third party variable. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by this dr, which is the change in radius. And this gives me that dv equals 2 pi r squared times dr. Okay, so I haven't really explained why I'm doing all this, but I want to show you this. I think this will really help you understand what this means right here. But in this case, I've rewritten this derivative in the terms of differentials. Specifically, this dr right here is a change in the radius. This dv right here is the change in volume. So again, the context that I was trying to say before, when we think about adding the paint to the outside of this dome, we're going to consider that a change in the overall volume of the dome. Specifically, this dv right here will represent the amount of paint that we need. This dr, or the change in our radius, is actually this right here. It's how much we're adding on to the outside of the dome. So in order to find out how much paint I need, which is dv here, or the change in the volume, right? It's not the end game volume, it's how much the volume has changed. It's 2 pi times the radius squared. I have a diameter of 50, so my radius is 25 meters, times the change in the radius. The important thing here for my change in my radius, if I've decided to use meters, for my radius, my change in my radius has to be in terms of meters. 
Quick note: in this case right here, this is five hundredths of a centimeter. By the way, there are a hundred centimeters in one meter. So if I want to translate this information into meters, I need to move this decimal two places to the left. So this is point zero 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 five meters is one five hundredths of a centimeter. And as I apply my paint here to the outside of this dome, that will represent. After I have 25 meters here, that little layer that what's this? Well, the 500th of a centimeter, however many meters that is, a 10,000, five ten thousandths, or whatever it is over there. Once I add that on, that's going to increase the radius of this shape a little bit. That is my change in my radius. When I multiply this out, what I get is that dv equals one point nine six three five meters cubed. So I have my answer. My answer is the amount of paint that I will need to paint this hemisphere dome. This with this thickness right here is one point nine six three five cubic meters. But maybe it might be difficult to go into Sherman Williams or Rada Paint and order cubic meters. If I want to translate this into something like liters, this would be one thousand nine hundred and sixty three point five liters of paint are needed to paint this massive object. The big difference here from what we've done previously is I got this rate, which is the change in the volume over the change in the radius. But I want to input an amount of the radius. So what I simply do is multiply both sides by this change in the radius or this dr. Now I have a differential equation. I have dv related to dr right here. Dv represents the change in the volume, and our interpretation was when we add paint to that, the amount of paint that we need is the change in the volume of this object. Dr is the change in the radius. We our analysis of that was that this. The amount of paint we put on the outside of this is going to bump out the radius of this object just by a little bit, and we can input those values for the change in the radius, the original radius, and we'll get the change in the overall volume.